Welcome, folks. This is Tom O'Brien at TFNN. We go five days a week. We go seven hours a day. We go 24 hours a day in the internet at TFNN.com. Always remember, folks, whatever you think about, you bring about whatever you focus on grows. Hope everyone's having a great day, safe day. Let's make it a great night, folks. Happy Cinco de Mayo. Yeah, get that tequila out, baby. We're going to need it. Don't make assumptions. Let your life be transformed. When you stop making assumptions, your word becomes impeccable, and your life is completely transformed. Magic just happens in your life. What you need comes to you easily because the spirit flows freely through you. Market wise, let's take a look at it out here. We have the Dow Industrials down 1265. NASDAQ's off 736. S&Ps are off 179. Gold contract up $9.30, trading at 1878 an ounce. You get silver up six cents, twenty-two dollars forty-six cents an ounce. Lights free crude flat, hundred eight dollars twenty-three cents a barrel. Notes and bonds. The ten-year note trading down one full point plus a tick at one eighteen oh three. The thirty-year off almost three points, two point two five at one thirty-seven twelve. And King Dollar, King Dollar's up eleven hundred fifteen ticks trading out at one oh three seventy. The euro is out here at 105. The yen is at 130.18. The British pound is at 123 to 1 US dollar. Our phone number is 877-927-6648. Give us a call, folks. Want to know what's going on in your world? In the world of the S&Ps, let's take a look at them. What do you have? Well, I'm going to bring the futures up because what you have out here, folks, is an intraday ABC structure on the way down and the S&P. So we take a look at this, and it's a monster. It's a huge one. You're going to see the first leg. The first leg up here, you get 42.73. That was at uh, bottom line 8 o'clock this morning. Um, all the way down to this uh, 41.45. You, you made the small bounce up at 11.30, and then guess what? You broke the B point. You broke it with volume. The B point on this is uh, 4141. And the yeah, projection there is 4038. That's on your S&P. And NQs, same type of setup inside the NQs. Pretty intense. I mean, there's no doubt about it. We got an hour here, so this is, well, hey, I'll show you the building cause. The building cause is the most dangerous part about this, and I've, I've talked about this many times. And the NQs, same deal. Your, your A point is set up here, 13,453. Your B point is down at 875. Your C point was the uh, 964. You broke it. That's 12,406. So we'll see. Uh, bottom line is that we're going to get this today or you get this tomorrow. Um, it, we have plenty of time to get it today. And you got to, you know, if you've been, well, and also, I want to show you when, you, when you're looking at this, this is, these are 10 minute bars, folks, okay? That's what I use. That is a lot of building cars going sideways, trying to basically get up, get out of it. Um, the last leg that we just come down that had volume also. It's, it's, a, it's a market that is resetting prices in, in a monster way. Gold. Gold contract. It's amazing that gold is up at all, folks, where the dollar is trying to break topside. If, we, if the dollar does break topside, the dollar is going to uh, 121. Uh, gold is up $9. Now, what it did do is this. It finally got some um, volume behind it. We have 204,000 contracts, okay? That being said, guess what? It gave it up on price, man. And if you give it up on price on Thursday, coming into Friday, that's telling me this thing's going to be right back downtown tomorrow. Now, the good news is that we finally got some volume in it. Because when, you, when you, you, know, you get volume, it's like, okay, you know, you might have the shot at it. Big toss-up, though. I can tell you that. Currency. Currency right here. What you have out here right now is this. Is that you're... Up 1,100 ticks. Now, on a council charting or candlestick charting pattern, this is a very bearish pattern. This is a last engulfing. And what a last engulfing is, is this, folks. A last engulfing is that you've had a big uptrend, and at the end of the uptrend, of, you know, no one knows when the uptrend it really ends, but, you know, at the high, at the top, at the high of the uptrend, you come down first. Then you go up and you take it all out. That's what we have out here today. So it's going to be really intriguing to see, you know, is this the basically um, end of the dollar going to higher price? 
We'll find out. The thing that's amazing, and if we go over to the oil, now let's go over to the oil market because this is, good, this is gonna get wild watching how this thing shakes out. We pull up the oil contract. Oil contract is at 108.49. And at that particular point, uh, you can see that we don't have the volume on oil. Okay, uh, no oil's been going, there's no doubt about that, but this is not, it just does not have the volume, man. You get 267,000 contracts, you took out the last swing point, the last swing point was $109.81. We went to 111.37 today, couldn't handle it. So that's telling me that oil's gonna back down also. Uh, there's, a, there's a lot of dynamics in this marketplace. Um, you take a look at some of the higher volume equities out here, and is down $17. You got Ma Bell off seven cents. That's pretty good. See, that's, that's, these, what, if you're trying to hide somewhere, folks, a day like today, I'd suggest you go through equities tonight and see who didn't get hit. That's, that's what you want to look at. Um, Facebook's off $16. You got uh, Microsoft's off $14. Tesla's off $90. I mean, you're talking about monster numbers out here. If we go inside the Dow Industrials and we take a look at the Dow Industrials, uh, you know, there's, there's, there is no strength whatsoever. Um, they're all red. And point-wise, you get uh, Home Depot is the number one. That's pushing 121 negative points. United Health, 110. Salesforce, 100. The least amount is Coca-Cola. That's not even a point. Yeah, th these, are, these are the strongest ones in the Dow Industrials. Coca-Cola, Verizon, uh, Walgreens, Merck, IBM, Intel, Cisco, not bad. I mean, there's actually a bunch of them that are not bad. Um, you know, that being said, the ones that are bad are just eating them alive. Inside of the NDX 100, what do you have? You get bookings.com is up 3.5%. Outside of that, guess what? You got Cognizant Technology down 13%. Pindodo is down 12.5%. eBay is down 12%. Ricardo Libri is down uh, 10 and a half. Big numbers. And we are going to have volume on the way down, folks. So when you have, you have a market breaking lower after sucking everyone in. And guess what, man? Get out of the way. Stay right there, folks. Come right back. Dow's down 1,300. NASDAQ's off 757. S&P's off 187. We'll come right back. Mm -hmm.